what's up, y'all? It's your boy Lakeem on the Bob Originator. Shout out to Urban Grind TV. Salute. I'm rocking with y'all. Hello, this is Tamiko Dixon, the granddaughter of the Blues, Willie Dixon, and you're listening to Urban Grind TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't know, it's the boy Illinois. You call me Illy on Urban Grind TV booth radio. Yeah, yeah. This your girl, Miss Breezy, and you're watching Urban Grind TV. What up, what up, what up? It's your big homie, Fiend. Fiend for the money. Bump, bump. You're now tuning into Urban Grind TV. You dig? Yo, y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy, Wow, Urban Grind TV, and we live from Smoky Studios, man. And I got the bro god in the building, Lord of Dragon. How you feeling, guys? And I'm good, man. How you doing, bro, man? Hey, man, it's been a long time. I appreciate you sliding through on here for it. No problem, man. It's no problem at all, man. We here, though, man. Look, look, look. Now, you got, you got a lot going on, though, bro, because, like, I think we had to just bump into your busy schedule, because you always working, bro. Trying, man. I was legit just in the studio. Last night, I got out at, like, 1230, man. What you working on? I'm um, working on a little summer project, man, and uh, some, some new music, man. You, that's like how you... Look, 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 look. <laughs> He, 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 did, he, he gave me a look like, bro, I'm not going to give you everything, bro. <laughs> not all that. That's all right. We, again, y'all make sure y'all tune into the radio show. We got y'all. Off the record, off the record. You know, you can get anything you want, bro. You did? Now, when I, I first got tuned with you, it was, um, you said you dropped the project when? The first, your first project? Uh, my first project was uh, Fresh Start. It dropped uh, December 2012. Okay. Yeah. Um, Feature uh, my homie Fresh DBIC, my homie Concrete City, uh, rest in peace. Uh, I had a, a Philadelphia rapper, um, no, a Baltimore rapper named Shiro. Um, he uh, reached out to me on that. And, um, it was a real, real dope experience. I had it on live mixtapes, had it with, uh, hosted by DJ Honors, and uh, man, it was a really, really good project. It did like 30, 40,000 and things yeah. like that. So, man, real proud of it, man. Definitely yeah. a good. Good promising start. So yeah, especially, yeah. especially, especially for to be underground, pretty much unknown. You doing numbers like that on live mixtapes where it was hot at that time. You know what I mean? Like, so how, like how would that? How like how would that is receiving as far as fan base? Why? Because like knowing that many people press play that many times. Like, um, I got a a real real nice like internet following. I mean. I definitely have like scattered fans that hit me up that be from like everywhere as far as like overseas. People be Canada. I got some Cali followers that I love, man. Like, man, a uh, few people from Baltimore, um, North Carolina, but all over it's just people follow. They hit me up, man. It's like I can't say I got the strongest city buzz, but it's like over the internet and that combined, man, it, it looks pretty good. So, so wait, have you been to Cali yet? Um, I have. I've been to San Diego once. You did a show out there yet? I have not. I went um to visit a friend. He was getting ready to go to the uh, leave the uh, deport out to go to Japan. I'll be going there soon. So, look, we got we got to get the show going though down there, bro. If you got to go following out there. That's where you got to go check that bag in, bro. Like, too, man. You know, yeah. Japan dragging it, it fits exactly too, bro. Like, I'm catching it. I dang. Now look, I right, between that and then you dropped Free Spirit, right? It was a um, couple of years. At the between the projects, what why was the process like that? Um, financial times, really trying to figure out what it is that I'm trying to do as an artist, and um, just knew I wanted to come really, really strong for my second effort, uh, and hence the name Sleepless Nights. So, a lot of sleepless nights. Uh, I was really working night shift at my job, getting off three, four o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. nothing really open, drinking rules sitting up late night trying to figure out what i'm about to do for this project but uh in the end result it came out really really well uh dropped june 2015 mm. dropped it like two days before my uh 25th birthday so yeah it was real good man yeah. a lot of hype behind it really did really good i did the merch did did everything for that so yeah it was real good you've been going crazy lately i've been seeing a lot of visuals of you a lot lately though that you've been dropping visuals on top of visuals. At least, at least once a month. Yeah, I, I tried to. I, I didn't drop any in May because I knew I had two coming in June. Okay. But I'm about to get ready to shoot next week and have probably like two more next week so I can drop two at least by the end of July. So just just trying to keep going. Like I, As fast as I can get them done, as fast as the videographers can get it done, I, I do them. Like, oh. yeah, it's, I, got a, I got a lot of work to put out. So. 
Now, I've been seeing over the past couple of years, before you getting up here, the time that I've discovered you at that time, you know, people put you in my ear. Okay. And then from that time, I've seen you do a, shows. And then I caught the Sway in the morning. Yeah. Shout out Sway, man. I see what shout you're doing, out man. Sway, man. Definitely shout out Sway. It was a super dope experience. That made a lot of things better, man. I'm not even going to lie, man. I um, got introduced to this really, really dope uh, dope young um, producer named Bobby Beats. Okay. Kid from the north side of Chicago. He did uh, all the production on my um, project we did um, last. We dropped it December 19th on the anniversary of my first mixtape from Fresh Start. So oh. it was like the four-year anniversary from Fresh Start. And I dropped a collaborative tape with uh, my homie Kid Breeze. Joel Q, Richie West, uh, my homie uh, Young Scoop, um, it's a lot, man. My homie uh, Wicked Wave and my homie Willis Chillin', man. I can't forget uh, Lon Jay's on there, Mika Luciano's on there. It's so many people because the last song had like eight people on there. It was like a big family track, so I definitely had to make sure I didn't forget anybody, but I'm good. So, yeah, like, now the, the people you just named, low key, is like, to me, some of the top spitters oh, of our yeah. city right now, bro. Like, and that, that ain't me hold. that's just me going out to these events, actually seeing y'all perform and like, your energy level. Like when I first saw you perform, I was like, all right, let me see, I, I hear how he get out on the track. Let me see what he doing. You got up there and, and killed it. I mean, killed it. But then I got to saw a little segment that I, I, you know, I'm gonna delve into on the radio, but I'm gonna ask about it right here too. Okay. Wonder Twins. Oh yeah, man, that's a collaborative uh, group effort with me and uh, one of the dopest females rappers rapper in the city period mika luciano man mm. it's my sister man i love her though so yeah yeah so now how, how did that come about because you from the east side she from out west yeah. like how, how did that collabo come uh we went to school together okay. we went to college together um went to siuc carbondale okay. so shout out to the salukis uh she stayed in my building um and she talked to one of my homies okay. and we were all like kicking in and, you know like usually when some when a female talks to one of your friends and things like that y'all always form a bond yeah. but uh from there we i found out she rapped she rapped at an open mic down there and i'm like i didn't know you did that and she seen me do it it's like i didn't know you did that um years go by um i'm here starting my solo career here she's doing the same thing here and then um man one day we just like came together and was like we should do something like because we're closer than like just regular friends and things like that and i just feel like it'll work it's never really been a male female group in hip-hop ever like no you can't name one because you know you saw you saw me going to my man i was trying to think too you can think of a lot of great duos that went together but they were never an official group you can think of like the timberlands and the missy Yelly. you can think of remy ma and fat joe you can even go back to foxy brown and like nas with the firm of foxy and jay-z but there's never been an official group with the male female doing what we do on the tag team level and like some battle rappers as well so that's why hence the wonder twins are gonna work man mm, i like that so y'all got a project going coming out what's going on Project trying to come before the end of the summer. Eee, that, look, that's all I wanted, man. Look, let make sure I, I I get hold to that, that man. Now, now, what's the latest visual that you got dropped? Um, I got two new visuals out. Um, one of my latest visuals is the Wonder Twins video shot by Pat Banahan, one of the dopest videographers in Chicago. Don't be snoozing. And the song is actually called Stupid. Don't be stupid. Um, me and Mika Luciano, man, is doing really good. It's been up for two weeks. Get us to that thousand views. We can do a little bit more than that, man. Spread the love. And um, my other one is uh, it's called Big Drago Freestyle, produced by Trips Tracks. Stupid is also produced by Trips Tracks, man. Shout out to Trips. Um, it's been doing a lot of my production. I was in there with them last night. But uh, that's shot by Cheech Beats. Um, very, very, very dope videographer, man. It's um, legit a freestyle. I went in there and... Like, let the words pour out of my mouth and, I, and just recorded everything I said. And it just came out really, really good. And I was happy about it. It's, it's so surprising because I'm, I'm honestly going to say it's probably the simplest song I've ever made in my career. But people really like it. So I'm, 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 not, I'm not mad about it because I love it. I, I really enjoy it. But it's like, it was real effortless. Okay. And people really, really rock with it. And it's like, I feel like that's probably one of the reasons why they rock with it. So.
They usually say them the ones that become the hit, the effortless one. When you uh, interview the, the greats, they be like, I, I went in there and just knocked it out like that. It was nothing. Man, they man. were like, and that's your top song, man. But look, if anybody trying to get in tune with you, they want to link up with you, they trying to do a feature, video, anything, how can they get in tune with you? Man, um, Instagram and Twitter, it's law, L-A-W, underscore, the, T-H-A. Please do not put an E in my name. Uh, underscore, dragon, spelled the regular way. Um, uh, if you want to follow me on Snap, it's uh, Law the Dragon. Um, Facebook is Law the Dragon as well, spelled the same way. Um, YouTube, Spotify, Google Play, iTunes, all my projects are there. Free Spirit will be back up by this weekend. Um, also, Big Dragon Freestyle, Stupid will be available this weekend as well. Some more music coming, man. Just trying to drop as much as I possibly can. Well, y'all make sure y'all get in tune with the bro guy, Law the Dragon, man. It's your boy, Wow. We live from Smokey Studios, Urban Grand TV. We out. How you doing, man? It's your boy, Law the Dragon. You're now watching Urban Grand TV. Yo, y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy, Wow, Urban Grand TV. Y'all see who I got with me. Hold on. Oh, that, this after school matters, man. And they throwing a uh, fest called the We Are Hip Hop Fest, right? Yeah. Now, what's your name? My name is Ray. Ray, Ray seemed a little nervous. Hold on. I'm a, let, we going to break the ice like this. Y'all, what's the, what's it called? The Shiggy Challenge? Hold on. We going to, Kiki, come on. You going to dance with me? Let's go. No. One, two, three. Let's go. Kiki, are you with me? Do you love? No. No. No, you wasn't with me? No. You wasn't? Okay. What was after school matter about then? What, what is all this? Uh, to me, After School Matters is basically about, you know, trying to bring everybody together, try to work together as one, because, you know, everybody seems so separated already the way our generation is, is today. So it's pretty much, you know, just trying to bring everybody together and just realize, you know, you're going to work with people that you don't like, but that's not what it's about. You got to try to remember that this is a working environment, so you just got to try to, you know, embrace it. Okay. So now everybody in the program, y'all from like different neighborhoods and stuff like that? Yeah. Different schools and all that? Of course. Uh, how is that? Because, you know, I know how when I was going to school, it used to be school against school. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to put none of that together. But like you said, you're working with different people. How was that when you first come into the program? Honestly, I was pretty nervous because, you know, I don't know anybody. You know, everybody's staring at me like, who is this girl? You know, but, you know, I eventually got used to everybody. Everybody was pretty open. So, you know, I started seeing them as like a family that I just walked into. So it was pretty interesting. And this is my first year, so... Okay, I right, bet that. Now, this is your first year, which is not y'all first year coming up here. They've been coming up here a couple of years in a row, you know, rocking out with us. Now, y'all putting on a fest called the We Are Hip Hop Fest, right? Yeah. No, no what? I know I'm, I'm part of hip hop. What, how, how you part of hip hop? What y'all mean by that? To me, We Are Hip Hop is basically, you know, bringing back our roots because, you know, back then we didn't have speakers, we didn't have Oscars, we didn't have, you know, everything that we have today. So, you know, basically, we're just trying to basically make everybody reminisce you know this is what we did with hip-hop you know with the break dance battles the graffiti coming up with your own raps, beatbox and all that you name it so that's basically what we are hip-hop it is to me okay so now where this festival be is going to be located at where, where y'all throwing this at this uh the we are hip-hop festival is actually going to be located at Dvorak park it's uh 1119 west Culleton street um yeah so okay so that's like pilsen neighborhood or something like that right <laughs> I right, shout out to everybody who in the room. Y'all don't see him. Y'all don't see him. Oh, shout out Wally. You know what I mean? He, you know what it is. He's a Pilsen resident native. You know what I mean? So shout out to everybody over at Pilsen, right? So now they putting this together. Y'all yeah, gonna have certain acts out the city. I heard you say break, break. Wait, well, hello. My man already said he was gonna break dance for y'all. I don't talk about it. I, I, I. Oh my bad. I ain't gonna do that too much. Shout out MH though. So um, y'all, y'all gonna have different artists and stuff performing as well. Yeah, we actually going to have people who performed before at the Weird Hip Hop Festival. They're coming back this year to show off, you know, their talents and stuff. You know, shout out to y'all. You know, Cam, he right here. You know, shout out to you. You know, woo woo. And yeah, so... Okay, she sure love to everybody. So this is, this is why y'all support. Y'all see the goons and the goblins behind me, though, right? <laughs> I wanted to ask, was he a part of the program? He just looked at me like, fam, do the interview. I'm, look, man, all right, I'm going to talk to her. All right, so you know. Now, what's your name? Let everybody know what your name is. You know, my name is Ray. Y'all can catch me at the We Are Hip Hop Festival, which is going on August 4th on a Saturday. You know, be there, be square. You know, don't be shy. You know, we don't bite. 
We're going to be there to turn up. It's going to be up. luck. It's going to be lit. You know, this come out. Come through. I'm going to be there, too, so y'all know when I come in the building, we don't we don't turn up. We don't do none of that. We activate. <laughs> we like above. Y'all, that's like above turning up. We like activate. You know what I mean? <laughs> so when we do that, y'all already know how we going to get out, man. So, again, it's August what again? August 4th. Make sure y'all in the building. Is it someplace they can get tickets now, or how, how can they find out how to get into them? You know, you can look us up on all our social medias, which is at We Are Hip Hop, and you know, either Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. You know, just look us up. You know, you can't miss us. You know, you can't miss us. So y'all make sure y'all get in tune. August fourth is going down. We Are Hip Hop Fest. Shout out everybody from After School Matters. It's your boy Wow, Urban Grand TV, and we out of here. Yo, it's your girl Ray from After School Matters, and you are watching Urban Grand TV. What's up? It's your girl, Jaylen, and I'm from We're Hip Hop Festival. Hip hop is a genre where emotions, stories, expressions, and communities come together. That is what We're Hip Hop Festival is about. In our festival, we're going to have food, raffles, graffiti, and breakdance battles. Make sure to follow us on all our social medias, which is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. We all hope to see you there. We're still at it, Archive Duplication Company, where we have no setup fee, unlimited colors, and shirts as low as $3. And now you can get your own customized bling design. Visit our website today at www.archivedupe.com or call us at 708-223-4167. Get burned. Shut the fuck up before I send slugs and give you a toast. You ain't no killer. You ain't no killer. 
killer. You ain't no thug. You ain't no shit. How the fuck you got a poppin' in nigga on the block? Seen where it's a store. You a little bitch. You fake, you phony. Try to play hard. Puss ass nigga. When the real killers come out, bang on your ass like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. When the real killers come out, bang on your ass like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. When the killers come out, bang on your ass like, oh my god, oh my god. Hey, what's up? It's your girl Miranda Wright, and right now I am standing next to Weekend Gabe, and we are at Urban Grind TV. How you doing today? I'm good, thank you. Okay, well, tell me a little bit about yourself because I want to know. I think you have a lot to offer. So, what's going on? What do you bring to the city of Chicago? Oh, everything and anything. So, I'm part of Radio One Chicago. We're a radio show based out of uh, downtown as part of Loyola University on WLUW. Uh, we uh, we introduce new artists from Chicago, new voices, new stories, entrepreneurs. We talk to anyone anyone from the city. So you know that's kind of what we bring to the table as far as Radio One Chicago goes. So you the plug. That's exactly. So if you're an underground artist from the city and you're looking for some radio play, we got you. Okay, okay, that's what's up. We should we should preface though that your 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 song should be really good though. So it's not just like you know send it in and we'll plug it now. It should have some quality to it. Don't you agree? I actually, I, I agree. I agree. And it's great that you said that because a lot of people think they songs good and it ain't. So it's a great thing that you are actually, the platform that you have is a, is major. It's major to what a lot of artists need. So what do, like, what is the steps that I, I would say that you would give local artists that's trying to get in the industry? That's a good question. Uh, I would say first, make sure your songs are good and that your quality of record is really good uh, it doesn't have to be a smash song but have to be something that's really like worth listening to and put some time into your record as well and the way that you present it I'm pretty sure you guys at Urban Grind TV get tons of requests where the uh, the, the email is poorly worded it's not professional we understand that your budget is zero however at least put a little bit of time and effort into the presentation so marketing is everything marketing is the key so how long have you been in radio, and what's your likes and dislikes? So I uh, was a communications major at Columbia College downtown uh, for two years. So I've been doing it for almost 10 years now as a student and uh, professionally. I was with WGN, uh, T uh, WGN Radio for two years. I'm also the senior hip-hop correspondent at Vocalo 91.1 FM, the sister station to NPR, uh, WBEZ. And uh, aside from doing uh, Radio 1 Chicago and The Morning Rush, which is also with uh, WLUW on Sunday morning. Mornings, uh, where we talk to tons of great uh, Chicago-based artists, uh, hip-hop legends. Uh, I can't even like Master Ace has passed through. We uh, we've had a number of great uh, iconic uh, artists uh, talk to us, as well as contributors from Huffington Post and Washington Post about the election and other major uh, trending uh, news items. So you know, I get around. I do a little bit of everything. That's great. That is great. So with the radio, do you guys just do only music? Um, as far as do you provide like sponsors? or do you do like um, shows involving anything like that? Yeah, absolutely. We do sponsor shows uh, as a brand of Radio 1 Chicago. So if you're interested in doing that, definitely reach out to us. Our following is growing daily uh so we're definitely interested in doing more sponsorships uh but as far as like music only uh no because we've had urban grind and wally and sonia as part of our uh as part of our guests so we we like to introduce people who are doing things in the city who are contributing to the culture who are doing things artistically we've had entrepreneurs we've had djs we've had just about every and anyone who is doing something outside the norms and creating a lane for themselves so we we value that our platform is an opportunity for artists to come on board and uh, introduce themselves and also introduce what they're doing. That's what's up. Let me bag up a little bit because your name is very catchy. So how did you come about that? That's a good question. So, uh, so several, maybe five, six years ago, this was before podcasting was a thing that everyone was doing. I used to do a podcast called the weekend wrap up show and I should have probably kept up with it, but I didn't, uh, which was a, 
a bit of a synopsis of all the independent hip hop records that came out during that week. So everything of like Casey Case and like a top forty like review of the week of. And, uh, so I would do this called the weekend wrap up show, which would play all these records and I would give like some insight into each of the records. So I was thinking branding, right? Like weekend, so weekend wrap up show, weekend Gabe. <laughs> And uh, and then I just kept it. And also, uh, YP, shout out to YP. He used to get upset at me because I would always change my Twitter handle because every week it would be something different. He's like, can't you just keep something the same? And so I, I kept Weekend Gabe, and it's been like that for like six or seven years now. It stuck, huh? Now, it's, now in the beginning, it wasn't, so, it wasn't so kind, but now it seems to work pretty well. Yeah. It rolled off the tongue pretty well. <laughs> so let me ask one last question. Do you think... Or have ever thought about bringing like the podcasting back, or you know, every once in a while. Mm. I, so I don't want to give away all the game, uh, but 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 I got some things in the chamber. I got some things coming up. It might be podcasting, it might be something else. But there's some there's some things on the forefront that uh, I'm flirting with uh, as part. And but right now it's just really about Radio One Chicago and uh, you know trying to uplift uh, the city and give more opportunity and more ears to uh, the great Chicago artists that are doing great music and you know trying to discover those uh, the next Chance of Rap, the next Dirk, the next Louis, whoever it may be, and you know give them. Yeah, exactly. Could be you too as well, right? So it, it could be anyone. Uh, but we we wanna we wanna make sure that you know, if and whenever they take off, they can always look at Radio One Chicago as being the platform that gave them a shot when no one else would. That's what's up. So if we are looking to find you, locate you, follow you, where would we go? So branding one hundred and one. Make sure everything is consistent. Uh, Weekend Gabe on all social medias. You'll find me out there. Hey, Weekend Gabe. Y'all heard that note? Take notes. So you heard it first, your girl Miranda White, Weekend Gabe, Urban Grind TV. We out. Yo, this is Weekend Gabe with Radio 1 Chicago, and you're watching Urban Grind TV. Yo, it's the pride of the east side, DJ MH Tudor, and we're live in Smoky Studios. And I'm here with the homie Tony from Radio 1 Chicago. How you doing, sir? I'm good, man. How about yourself? I'm pretty good, man. So how long you been in radio? Uh, probably three, four years strong now. Okay. What exactly do you do? I, I, I know, but let the people know what you do. All right, well... Uh, I'm a co-host and a producer. I co-host on the Morning Rush Sunday mornings at 7 a.m. Uh, and I'm also help. I'm also a producer on the show. Um, I also co-host on Thursdays with Gabe on Radio One Chicago. Absolutely. What made you decide that you wanted to step into radio? Ah oh, man, radio is radio is just so fun to me. It's like you get to en- you get to enjoy the music without actually being you know without actually making music. So radio is like you're you're a part of that whole music industry and it's and to me it's just all the fun in the world dude what's some of the hardest things that you've dealt with being in radio um sometimes it's and it's going to be in every business really is just rejection when you're first heading out there not a lot of people want to take chances on you but my best advice for that is just keep going i finally got my opportunities so i landed a pretty sweet gig so that's probably the hardest part that i've endured so far what what do you think it took for you to get your opportunities man just keep grinding keep going like yeah, you'll take a no, but just keep going. Don't let that stop you from, you know, doing what you want. Besides radio, what else do you do? Besides radio, hmm, radio is all really I do, man. <laughs> this, is all, this is all I really do. This, this is my life. What do you see yourself in the next mm, three years as far as radio? Uh, hosting and a, pro- a, pro- a producer on the side. I'm trying to get my own show going, man. Okay. What would your show consist of if you could have a show right now? What would it be? Oh, dude, it Number one, it would be Chicago based, of course. I want. I feel like Chicago is, is missing that. New York has its own thing. LA has its own thing. I feel like Chicago really deserves its own show. I want to have something here. I, I want to have it very Chicago oriented. I want to put everybody. Everybody says, but nobody sticks to it. And I want to just be that person that actually sticks to you know what I mean when I keep when I want to keep it Chicago oriented. Dope. So, do you listen to a lot of Chicago artists, and or like what what else would be based your show be based around? Uh, not only, I mean, artists in terms of music and in terms of actual, like, art, I would also want to keep it around just, you know, positive figures around the neighborhood, um, just letting people know that, or even people outside, like, hey, Chicago is not one big old battlefield. We actually have, like, really positive things going on for us, and that's, you know, that's, that's what I want to get going. Absolutely. One more quick question. How is it working with Weekend Gate? Man, I have some things I'll say off the camera. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it's a joy, man. Jo- Gabe is, like... Gabe introduced me to all this. Gabe is really like the man that got me started, and I owe Gabe seriously everything for giving me my chance. So it's it's been an honor working with Gabe. Really, definitely dope. Where can people find you at on social media? At Who Is Redarte, both on Twitter and on Instagram. D 
DJ MH Twitter, my homie producer extraordinaire Tony, Urban Grind TV, we out. What's up, guys? Tony here from Radio 1 Chicago, and you're watching Urban Grind TV. Yo, y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy, Wow, Urban Grind TV. We live from Smokey Studios, and I got the one for Alex from Weekend Gabe, Radio 1. Yes. Am I correct? With Weekend Gabe. Yes. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm wonderful. Now, we want to know a little bit what's going on. You're, you, you're on radio. What's your shows about? Yeah, so I'm co-hosting with Weekend Gabe and Tony and Hex on Radio 1 Chicago, and we feature uh, Chicago artists um, from all around the city and, like, neighboring suburbs, and, yeah, every Thursday on WLUW. Okay, now, so how you get started in radio? Uh, it was random. It, <laughs> I started in college, uh, dabbled in it a little bit, uh, had my own show, um, and then I kind of you know, fell off my radar, and then I kind of just by chance found Radio 1 Chicago, and the guys have been gracious enough to let me in, and I've been there for about a year. Okay. Now, wait, now I'm hearing the names on the show. Is you the only lady on the show? I am. Well, we have a, uh, an intern, Ashley. I will not let her, okay. yeah, like, she, she does her part, too. So but but, but how, how is it being around them all them, them hard legs like that, man? Because I know how it could be. You know, we got one around us, like... She's something else, but I mean, <laughs> how, how is it though? I like it. I think you know it's uh, it adds a different perspective to you know the interviews and um, you know conversations. I think all the time, so I like being a part of it. Do you crack the whip over there? Because she cracked the whip over here. Like, do you be like, hey, look, we got to get back on subject, you know? Because I know how we could run off sometimes. Yeah, I know. I definitely cracked the whip there. <laughs> So now, do y'all got something going on? Like, or how, like, if somebody wants to get in tune with the show, how can they get in tune with y'all? Yeah, they can uh, get in touch to us. Uh, get in touch with us um, on our website, radio1chicago dot com, or you know, email us on our radio1chicago at gmail uh, dot com, and just say like, hey, you know, this, you know, send us our, send us your music, and you know, tell us who you are. And only from Chicago, obviously. Like, we're only featuring Chicago artists, okay. but um, but yeah, only Chicago. Y'all are only Chicago. For us, by us. Oh, that's FUBU, right? But okay, yeah. my bad, my bad. Look, I'm just everywhere right now, right? So now, look. Well, give me, give me a, give me some, some real interest that people don't know that happened on the show before, like you know, behind the scenes. But you be like, Joe, for real, like give me, give me some, some interest. Something interesting? I don't know. I'm trying to think. There's like, I don't know. Like, what do you mean interesting? I don't know. Like, I mean, like, y'all have rap battles. Like, I can see oh, you yeah. I can see you and Gabe going at it, like, one-on-one. <laughs> and he always going on internet talking about, I won, like, but you're really the winner. I can see this, though. Yeah, I mean, like, the, one of the cool things that we do every month that I kind of, I really look forward to it uh, is, like, our monthly hip-hop cypher. We get just kind of, like, a collection of, like, hip-hop artists, and they kind of come through and just, you know, freestyle. And it's amazing to see every week. Like, I can't do that. And it just amazes me that there's that talent in Chicago. Um that just blows it out of the water every month. For some reason, I believe you got some bars deep down. I'm just looking know, at you. <laughs> I feel bars because I got bars. Like, and I'll be, I'll be holding man down. I'll be having to suppress yeah. them. That's because I'm under contract too. But we're not gonna talk about that. Yeah. But yeah. So, so any, I mean, like, so every win. Wait, what day again? Y'all show is Thursdays. Every Thursday is from six to eight p.m. All right. So local artists. What now? Is there anybody you listening to right now? That like. Local or not local, that you like, you go in your car, we can press play on your iPod. Oh, did they use an iPod? iPhones now. It's just a phone. You just connect your phone now. Yeah, just a phone. No, I mean, I think definitely doing Radio One, I've come across so many like cool artists like in my backyard that I didn't know of, and you know, prior to doing the show. Um, like just some that I can think of at the top of my head, like Girl K uh, is out there, um, you know, just like radiant devices and just like really cool artists that. Um, just around the city doing their thing and, you know, trying to make a, a difference and get their name out there. Okay. Now, look, if anybody want to get in tune with you, what's your social media? Don't – let me see your hands. I didn't see no ring on your finger. So, just in <laughs> case the guys want to jump in the DM and stuff. What's your, what's, what's your Instagram? Get the people to Instagram and all that. I know. Uh, you know, as Weekend Gabe said, you know, branding 101 and tisk tisk on my end. I'm not branded the same across all my social medias, but you can follow me on Instagram. It's Elvarez Photos with an F, F-O-T-O-S. So you take pictures too? I do. I, you know, try and do some photography on the side. So I think that's how it started. But then, kind of steering my way into radio, it's been. I was like, oh, I should change it. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Y'all make sure y'all go follow her. Get in tune with a gentleman. <laughs> DM is open. I mean, don't no, 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 don't don't take my word for that. Don't don't not look. 
It's your boy, Wow, man. Urban Grand TV. We are out of here. Hey, guys. This is Alex Alvarez from Radio 1 Chicago, and you're watching Urban Grind TV. What's up? It's your girl, Jaylene, and I'm from We're Hip Hop Festival. Hip hop is a genre where emotions, stories, expressions, and communities come together. That is what We're Hip Hop Festival is about. In our festival, we're going to have food, raffles, graffiti, and breakdance battles. Make sure to follow us on all our social medias, which is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. We all hope to see you there. Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy John Blue, the R&B Bully, and make sure y'all check out my new project titled Sacrifice Before Success, featured in Volume 3, Urban Ground Lifestyle Magazine. Let's get it. Hey, nice. <laughs> you know, the crazy thing about this shit is, I remember mean, when you first started, right? You already know. And you told me, like, um, excellent. Let's go. Yo, yo, what up, everyone? It's your boy F. Finish my man, Heck Nation. We go back. Grand National Inc. And we dropping that new album car. New Age. Anywhere music available at, you can go search at GrandNationalInc.com. What's some other platforms we on, bro? Man, we on iTunes, uh, Title, man. Any major platform out here, man. We coming out for y'all. And once again, I want to give a shout out to UGTV, Urban Grind, man. Salute. Everybody just stay calm. Believe me, last thing I said, it needs to be enough tragedy. I'm on the edge, but I got the beat. Walkin' in, coming after me I'm so in, my soul's in And I'm no in, and I'm Master P uh, Yeah, we so about it, about it Everybody crowd around us, look up And they done found the illest niggas On the planet for shout The people shout Yo, welcome back to Urban Grind Radio. It's the pride of the East Side DJ MH to the Wow. You good, bro? Yes, sir. You activated? Let's go. I, yeah, you all the way activated now. Mm-hmm. I see you. I Let's see you. It. Let me tell you about this artist we got up here right now, Wow. Mm-hmm. We do break it and yank it right here on the show, right? Yes, sir. And um, to, he sent in his music. We got the music. We played the record right here on the show. Mm-hmm. You've been trying to get in tune with this brother for over a year and a half. Yeah, over a year and a half. <laughs> yeah, been a yeah. But we finally caught up with him. We okay. finally got him. Ladies and gentlemen, can we get a round of applause because the homie Lotis is in the building. Mm. Appreciate it. Welcome, it's brother, to, to Urban here. Brand Welcome. Radio, man. No, it's good to be here. It's good to be I'm glad that I finally did get around to y'all. Yeah. yeah. You be working hard. Definitely, baby. definitely. You, yeah. You always busy, B. I got a lot going on. You yeah. know what I'm saying? As an artist, I'm a businessman, you know what I'm saying? But always. It was it was bound to ha- it was bound to happen anyway. I was gonna be on the show. No doubt, no doubt. So you got a new project out, right? Uh yeah. Uh I'm working on a I'm working on a, a new project. Mm-hmm. I definitely got a, a cake season. My my most recent project. No doubt. Talk about cake season, man. What, what was the <coughs> thought process behind that? Because are we caking on cake season? Um, definitely I be caking. caking. I got a wife, so I got a cake. Definitely so. caking. <laughs> no, nah, you, caking, you, you, you big time, big like. time. <laughs> I ain't gonna front. Well, that hey, you married though? You, you did. Like, I'm about to start caking in a minute. Though, so like, hey, I, look, that's how you win like that though. I cake a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But, but I, I think everybody cake. Niggas just don't be one. They don't, don't want to say it out loud. Yeah. But but cake season make it cool for niggas to cake though. You can't say the N word, bro. Can't say the N word. Yeah, but it's all good. Okay, cake season make it cool for for guys to you know what I'm saying cake or whatever. Yes, sir. Uh, you say you asked the process of it. Um, I was actually between projects. I didn't know what type of project I wanted to put out at first. I mm-hmm. was like, I either want to. Because my back to business project, it was kind of live. That's what you know. I got Lucci on there, and yeah. it's like that. That touched people in the streets. That touched, you know, what I'm saying it, it, it touched on everything. You Absolutely. know, what I'm saying? It's, it, it, as far as the a, a whole, it, it touched on love. It touched on, you know, what I'm saying it's it's sex music. It, it's it's uh, just life. You know, what I'm saying. Right. It, and it was me, and I, I decided I was like I want to put out another project, <clears throat> and it was actually it was a split decision type of thing. It was a 
I either want to put out a, a project, a up tempo project, or I want to put out a slower project. And around the time that I was trying to do it, it was like it was cold outside. You know, it was it was winter time. So, cake so cake yeah, season. it was it was cake season. So, I, so, I, so I, I actually asked somebody. I'm like, you know, what 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 you think I should put out? And they was like, it's about to be it's about to be a Valentine's Day. Put out cake season. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So we went right Dope. into it. And actually, uh, there was a girl in the studio who, who she's an actor, an, act, an actress, and uh, the way cake season starts off. It starts off with skit with a skit, you okay. know what I'm saying, of a girl on the phone and me getting out the car, and from there, <clears throat> that's how the whole project goes. You know what I'm saying? And then it it the the skits lead into the 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 songs following them. You okay. Know what I'm saying? So that's the intro, the um the uh, the in, the mid skit or whatever, and then the outro or whatever. It's it's all like talking, acting, and I have I have fun doing it. You know what I'm saying? It was no a doubt. Project. For real, for real. So you you, you touched <coughs> on acting a little bit. So you got plans of doing that as well? Yeah, I'm 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 I'm, I'm a, I don't know I'm a, I'm a Pisces I'm a I'm a Pisces. I think Pisces most Pisces I know they passionate about a lot of things. I'm I'm super passionate about creativity. You okay. know what I'm saying? I love I love to entertain people. I love to see nothing become something. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like even as a kid, I used to like. Do, watching little funny, uh, watching little uh, like Jamie Foxx stand ups and shit like mm-hmm. that, or uh, watching movies. And to this day, I'm still I'm a big movie head. You okay. know what I'm saying? So I think it's amazing for people to be able to be a whole nother person on on a set. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that like, somebody can click their hands in, and you a whole nother person. So I definitely um, I, I dib and dab in it definitely because it's like in my in my music videos, I don't do a lot of um, <clears throat> organic videos where. They they um well they scripted a lot of my videos are scripted I I write how I want or or develop how I want the video to come out okay. and I'm in there acting you know what I'm saying so it right. it might it might legit be I'm not doing no fake it ain't no fake you know what I'm saying so right. I might be uh, playing a character but mm-hmm. it's like okay every every young black man can relate to it because it's like okay like on my don't fight a video. I mean, I don't own a BMW, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But I'm pulling up in a BMW and I'm, right. I'm going to visit a female, you know what I'm saying? And it like, it's like a lot of people from the from the ladies to the to the dudes, they rock with that. <clears throat> Not only the song, but the video. But the video, you know what I'm saying? And it's always to me more fun when you can be more creative with, with the with the project, you know what I'm saying? And with the video, so Y'all might see y'all might see me acting somewhere. So, <laughs> so you, you said you like being multiple people with the snap of the fingers. You know they call that crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, that's that's yeah, that's that's it's definitely I, be, I I believe it's crazy, but I I think that I think now I don't I don't know I don't know if I I got that like in me like no, you just, know what I'm saying? Just but, hey, you know. but you know what though? I do believe though, I do believe that it's some type of um what would you call it? I think that it's some type of mastermind and, and craziness, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, like how they talk about Einstein and, mm-hmm. like, E equals N. I still don't even know what that means, you know what I'm saying? But it's, I know it's important, you know what I'm saying? And the stuff that the average person wouldn't do, some of the craziest people would do. Because they'd be like, and even, like, even with me, I'm I'm more of a, I'm like a, I mean, we only here for a limited time. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't, you know what I'm saying? God forbid anything happen to you tomorrow or something, you would be like, Man, I wish I, I wish I would have did this or did that. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, oh, right. My bag. I, I was thinking. <laughs> I, I should have been saying get the bag right. I was like, damn. No, my bag. No, from that perfect. from that to wherever. Like, you know, like last year for my birthday, I went skydiving. It was some, I'm scared of heights. I don't really like roller coaster. Oh. You know, so I'm... I'm, you I'm, jumped out the plane, mm, bro. Yeah, it wasn't. No, it wasn't none of the inside Word. air flow. Okay. Oh, it was, was real there. out. Oh yeah. no, yeah. no, y'all should do it though. Y'all should definitely go. It's some. It's some. I don't time. care how scared. I don't care I what your biggest fear is. I, yes. I, I want to do it. I just felt it's, my heart just when I ain't even in the plane. <laughs> I just thought about it. they open that door like, bam. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> bam. Hey, look. <laughs> no, this this is gonna stop you. One, after you paid your money, you're not finna want to get it, not talk about the plane. Then after you see the first person, it's exhilarating. It's like, damn. You know what I'm saying? For me, I just I didn't look outside. It was like a one, two, three, go. You know what I'm saying? So, so you now, just oh my yeah, that's like God, a, you just gotta I do just, it type thing. I just felt that out. No, bro. And no, nah, it's I when you fall and you <laughs> for about a good 10, 20, 30 seconds. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But once that parachute come, you like, man, I'm really in it. How many people get to do that? Yeah. In life, though? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, once that parachute that, come, that's if I'm alive yeah. by the time that parachute. My heart's been <laughs> hey, you You gonna better <laughs> pass out in the air. <laughs> Hey, and that'd probably be the worst thing. 
Hey, no, you, 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 you either go, hey, you either gonna splat, you either gonna hit the ground, or you gonna make it. So that, that's that's how right. I look at it. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you, like, you know, get wild, it. Joe, either, uh, uh, uh. but but that's a good analogy. You saying that because it's like that with life. Period. Like either you gonna jump out and live, or it's over. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I see like true that, true that. Growing up, I was. I didn't know as a kid, you know what I'm saying, home was home. But as I got older, like, my mom moved me away. And, like, even now, like, she, like I asked her, and she told me, she was like, I, I didn't want you to be that, I wouldn't want you to be that dude, that's, that sits, stand still dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. as a kid, I used to be like, oh, this is life. Come outside, everybody on the block is on the block every day. Yeah. To this day, they still on the, still block, on the block every, every day. day. You know what I'm saying? Word. This summer, they going to be there. You know what I'm saying? On so, like, I'm, I'm, more, I'm so blessed, and I'm, I'm, I'm I really can't even say how much for my mom to have moved me out of Illinois, you know what I'm saying? So I was able to get a different demographic. I moved to Madison, Wisconsin. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. For for a minute and then um I was back and forth between there and Chicago a lot. So my personality and my style of music comes from uh different sources, different areas, different people and seeing and experiencing different things. You know no what doubt. Saying? I think that's I think that plays a major part in in your music and in your personality, you know what I'm saying? In any person, from you to you and anybody else up in here, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, so what is what's inspiring you right now, bro? <clears throat> right now, I'm I'm half I'm inspired by uh, that loud over there you had in the corner. <laughs> no, I'm just my, 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 hey, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Man. I'm a real Tuesday smoker. I, I ain't I ain't I ain't smoking none of that backyard boogie over there. No. <laughs> No, nah, but but uh, I'm a Tuesday smoke. I like, I hit the blunt, but I actually I just stopped drinking um like probably like two three months ago. Okay, this ain't the first time, but it was a it, it was a big um like uh I had did a show and got too drunk, way too drunk before the show and messed up, and that's why you know I had to stop. So right now I'm just really high off life, and I'm being inspired by everything around me from me. Even if I'm vacating, I'm I'm working. You know what I'm saying so if Absolutely. I vacate and go to to Atlanta or LA or you know Jamaica, I'm inspired by that. Or if I if I see my little cousins or if I see I don't even have to know you, but if I see a young a young some any somebody young old if I see potential in anybody, then I try to encourage it. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody has great potential in them. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. everybody won't find it in themselves to be great though. That's a fact. And, That's true. And I'm always, you know what I'm saying? I. I know what I had to go through to to get to the mindset that I have. You know what I'm saying? I know what, what I've had to experience, and it's like, like I say, it's a high, and it's it's almost amazing, magical, amazing type of stuff happen like every day. You know what I'm saying? Word, you know, yeah. Every day you, you got to find it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm always looking for it. So if it don't come to me, then um, I go find it. I like to travel a lot. You know what I'm saying? Um, I love beautiful women. I love <laughs> I love great grown man conversations with my homies. Right. That a lot of a lot of stuff come from that. Just not even like I say as, as a businessman and as a uh, artist. A, a lot of stuff, just conversations. You know, what I'm saying gotcha. somebody yeah. could say something, I could be on the phone and I just be playing around. I joke, right. I, I joke a lot, and like it just be playing around, and um, I might come up with a song. Like I said, like like please don't call my phone. I'm at, I ain't gonna sing this song, but it was like I was I was working, you know. What I'm saying? Uh-huh. I was doing I was tattooing, and um, some people kept calling my phone, kept calling me, and I was on the phone with a friend, and like I ended up coming up with a whole song called "Please Don't Call My Phone." I'm too busy. They ain't just slipped by me, bro. You you tattoo? <laughs> they slipped by. Yeah, I, I tattoo. Um, that's kind of that's how I really. That's that business right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's like I I. I've been making music like recording and all that since 14. But what mm-hmm. <clears throat> 14 you or old oh, you know can afford studio time right. or videos or pictures or anything. I didn't have no money, so mm-hmm. uh, some of my, some of my rap homies, you know what I'm saying, was they was just like, bro, you. I was cutting hair and stuff at the time. They like, bro, you you always work, bro. You, you you might as well start tattooing. And I'm like, if you tell anybody like start tattooing, you know what I'm saying? They gonna be like. What? Bro, what? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna just start permanently writing on nobody's skin, but yeah. and that was my mindset at first. But then, um, I had I had uh, gotten to it with my mom, and I, I ran away from home, and uh, they had just happened to, just so happened to get tattoos, and they I, just, I was just like at that point I was like, well, I ain't got nothing to lose. My money running low, whatever. Yeah. So I picked up the machine, and that's that got me through high school. It get me through life, and it helped me. That's how I can get all these printed up. You know what I'm saying? Word, That's how I can yeah. get my music out. And I also build a, a broader fan base 
off of that. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. So yeah, tattoo. Do you use a little trick? You you know you come in, you start tattooing, but you playing your music in the background. They be like, Joe, what? Joe, what that is? You be like, oh, that, that's more it, it, it's that it, me, like. it's different. Um. I always find pleasure in people who come in who already know my music. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes Word. people know me for music and they come in and they like, they just true fans and they like, bro, I like this. I like what you drop. I like this, like that. And I'm like, all right, check out this new. I, and I, I call it the Lotis experience. You know what I'm saying? You okay. come in, you come in, you get tattooed. There is no way you're going to come in and get in my chair and you're not going to hear my music or see a video. Because I used to be, I used to be really shy. Mm-hmm. And then I used to be like, I don't want it to clash. You know what I'm right. saying? I don't, I don't want people to be like, oh, I ain't gonna listen to your music. You, you a tattoo man, or you know, I don't even like that term, tattoo man. Right. Yeah. I say tattoo artist or tattooist or, or right. just artist. But um, if if they don't haven't heard my music and say I just you just met me off, you you ran across my my business page and you came and got a tattoo, um, I'm gonna ask like, have you heard my music or something? And if you haven't, I'm gonna give you the beats. You know what I'm saying? You throw the beats on, right? And it may be, I, I play cake season because it's like a it's about a thirty minute project. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And they get to just vibe out and it's good for them because they it can take their mind off the pain, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, so right. it's it's really like therapy. It, it, it's like a, a listening session, a therapy session. It's more than just a tattoo when I'm when I'm working on you as far as a tattoo. And it's this is what this is why I really want people to I really want people to hear what I got to say in these songs. I really sometimes I su- I surprise myself with the things that I, I say, like, damn, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I was able to express that. Or when, when dudes call you, I'm talking about hood dudes call me down to, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like I say, a broad range. It might be some white boy all the way in Colorado somewhere. Like, man, I, I heard your music. I ran across it off of Facebook. Or I met you in, in at South by Southwest. Right, right, mm-hmm. right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it, it, like I say, that I want I want, I want want to get that. And I love when people are able to call me like, bro, Man, why why I just get some head off your song in the car, bro? <laughs> <laughs> or, or why, you know what I'm saying? Or, or somebody Hold like, on, let me get that way. <laughs> hey, y'all do know I got a CD player. No, we on that. Oh, uh, we on that. Yes, bro, I, I had somebody tell me they, bro, I made somebody was they, they was trolling on my one of my posts. You know what I'm saying? And and somebody got on there and was like. Um, man, get, they basically was like fall back. I made my baby off his music. Wow, you know what I'm mm. wow. and it was like, dang. So that's kind of, and that's a, that's an dang. Well, also. I think I'm gonna hand that back. Do my bad. No, I'm just <laughs> so you, 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 you said cake season was in between in between projects. You got another one coming? Yeah. So cake season, I slowed it down. Uh, you know what I'm saying? KC just slowed it now. Now I didn't listen to it so much. You know what I'm saying? I'm so I'm so out of KC. I'm not even gonna say I'm completely out of KC. It's just that I know it front to back. Keep it a hundred. Summertime coming. Just, summertime. 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 You know, summertime. You know it's, 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 it's that's why you do, hey, bro. Like. bro. It's it's uh, on the on the project. Uh-huh. It's a skit where my homie called and I'm like, man, he like, bro, what you want? And I'm like, man, I'm, I'm caked up. He like, man, KC's over with. You know what I'm saying? And Look. that's and that's what and that's how I kind of want. I want to come back is. I, it's really a lot of turnt music, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, up tempo, like it's a, it's what people haven't it's what people haven't seen from me. Like okay, I, I rap too, but I, I didn't done like rap rap. But now I found my style to where it's in between rapping and singing. You know what I'm saying? So it's not always just R&B. Right. You know, my my homies be like, bro, make something we could ride to or we could listen to, and we don't feel crazy. To you know what I'm saying? Because dudes don't want to be up on stage talking about. Um, can you keep this a secret? They, sometimes they want to be out there like, I need my money first, money first, money first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, he can't. He just couldn't look tough behind that first. One. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I, I just try, in my head, I just try to like, no, man. We'd be up there like. Yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's and that's a big thing with me. And it's, a, it's almost a gift and a curse because I, I try to satisfy everybody. I know you can't, but, you know what I'm saying? You might as well try it. Like, huh? if you can satisfy the women, cool. If you can satisfy the dudes, cool. Satisfy as many people as, as possible because a lot of people go through the same situations. And I would like to be that voice for the people who don't know how to express themselves or, you know what I'm saying, speak for themselves or the what stuff that they've been through. And it's good that if they can relate and be like, oh, man, oh, he went through that. It just makes, you know what I'm saying, being an artist is one thing, but being a person is... What we we all people, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. very relatable. Right? It makes yeah. it makes your fans. It don't make you untouchable to your fans. Right. It ain't like, oh, 
I probably might say some certain stuff in my song, but I highly doubt that I might say something like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, some, some about some shit. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> some, some about some I got and you ain't got. You know what I'm saying? Because that's intimidating. Like you might have somebody who really love your music and then here you go talking about talking about what they do in their life and you down in them. Yeah. Cause you up. You know what I'm saying? I like to talk about. You know what I'm saying? I, I was down. You know what I'm saying? And you could do it too. I'm more right. so of a. I like to motiv- get people motivated when they hear Motivation. my music. I might that's I might do such yeah. I might have some fun and, and, and talk about. You know what I'm saying? I, you just have to hear. You know what I'm I don't want. I don't want to say none of none, none of no quote no exact anything I cursed or nothing. But you got a date for the project? No, nah, right now I'm just building up. Um, building up the music. I'm probably about a good. I actually, as far as songs that I know for sure, for sure that I would want on the project is probably about. Um, it's a good like twenty track, twenty strong tracks, and mm. I want to narrow it down to like a ten song, maybe okay. twelve song project. <laughs> right, gotcha. but I got probably about one hundred fifty to two hundred fifty songs mm. recorded. Right. You know what I'm saying? That that I can put out. I just yeah. don't. I don't put out a lot of music. I like for people to be like, although he's dropped some, I got to hear because yeah. I know it's some heat. Mm-hmm. I don't want people to be like, yeah, he be he every once in a while, yeah, song, spamming. Yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, he drop something nice every once in a while. Nah. If, if Lil T's <laughs> drops some, he drops some. I need to watch. I need to see it. Okay. No doubt. Where can the people find you at on social media? Um, on Instagram, Lil T the singer. That's L O T I C E, the singer. Um, Facebook, Lil T. Uh, Twitter, Low Key Lil T's. And also, for go follow my SoundCloud, Lil T's official music, and that's my YouTube too, Lil T's official music. Where, where can they get cake season from if they're looking for it? Uh, if you're looking for cake season, you go, you might see it in the streets. If you see it in somebody's car, take it. If you, <laughs> you know Don't take mine. <laughs> Not in my car, Hey, no, the dope, the dopest part about this is if you have it, you can keep your CD. If you like, you know what I'm saying? If you know you're going to listen to the CD, and you can just give people the plugger because this this QR code on there, you, you can, uh, you can, you know, scan that on your Snapchat and, mm-hmm. and listen to it on your phone. So you can listen to it both ways. Dope. Oh, he said he's going to snap and do that, Joe. <laughs> hey. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. And, yeah. It's on iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Title, everywhere, everywhere. Let's get it, man. Cake season. Appreciate you for, for coming sure, for through, sure. bro. No, I appreciate y'all, man. It's, it's great to be on here. I like the setup. I like the vibe. I like the energy, and I definitely enjoyed the show. No yeah. doubt. When you drop the next project, you got to come back. Yes, sir. Oh, for sure. Right through. For sure. DJ Mace Tuttle, Wild Smash Cash, yeah. the homie Low in the building. It's Urban Grind Radio. We'll be right back. Let's get it.